Hi, welcome to this session. The idea of this demo is to show how a ISV partner app, in this case Web3 Parts 360, can convert SharePoint into a platform with uh, no or very low amount of code for an end power user. Imagine I'm that end power user in a school and we have students and faculty. We also have information on internship that we uh, provide to our students on their way to employability in SharePoint document library. Now all this information is very flat and this solution allows this uh, uh, information to be converted into a structured form uh, with department at the center. Uh, these departments are populated uh, by faculty members so they have members um, and um, uh, these departments are uh, offering uh, internships. So they offer internship. So this is the organizational uh, ERD and I'll just call it that uh, organizational ERD and quickly save it. In addition to that we also have an uh, internship uh, ERD which is uh, basically linking the students to the solution. So uh, once it comes on internship are applied to by each student using their resumes for that department. So the students are applying information. Now we have a structure in our uh, uh, solution and this is the ERD and the whole thing will get developed around these relations. Once this is achieved, it is about the engagement of the students. So the way we can start is by inviting them to upload uh, and contribute their resumes. And it can be done here very easily by building the web parts. So I'm going to uh, show this um, quick way of building the application uh, actions. So we are asking them to create new. Um, we would like uh, the interface to show the name. Yes, and it should be changeable. Uh, we want the title of the student who is logged in. So we will lock it. Uh, plus this app can give the information uh, quickly pulled out um, from the login information of the student. Uh, we also want the student ID to be locked and it should be equal to the ID of the student himself or herself because we don't want student apply for others behalf. Um, department is compulsory so that the student contributes that and we are able to serve them with the right information, the right internship applicable to them. Now this uh, defines the action we save that action and then go ahead and connect this action with the web view so they're able to use it. Uh, once the saving is complete, um, I go to the view and I create a um, resume view. Uh, it needs a data source and the data source is based upon the resume table. It pulls the information from there. Um, just by clicking, we complete that and it is now complete. Um, once that is done, all we need to do is create a data grid a view uh, where this, the applicant will be able to uh, uh, see their uh, um, resumes, right? And uh, what we would like them to see is the file icon, of course. Um, with that, uh, we want them to see the title. Uh, we want them to see the uh, department. The app allows the uh, column heads to be made shorter and more descriptive. So we go ahead and do that. Once that is done, we add a condition. And the purpose here again is to make sure the student is applying on his or her behalf only and not somebody else. So this equals to the login ID of the student. And once this is done, all that remains is to connect the action with the interface. So we call the interface as upload resume. Uh, it is top level, all this is correct. This app has uh, quite a few default icons built in, which you can just pull down. And the other last thing to do is to link it to the action. The trigger uh, is loaded so that the action happened. There you go, uh, almost done. So let's just say upload and save this action. We just ensure the permissions are there for the end users, the student, the applicants to take it forward. So things like upload Muse resume, um, document preview. So they should be look, able to look at their document. You can download a copy. They can email links if they like. Uh, once this is done, um, we make sure that the permissions uh, are 
there uh, for me to and it is already enabled save the view and add this particular interface to uh, as a web part to a web page uh, let's make it a default one so we call it resume header let's put it on zero index uh, title only and add now the resume part is done, but uh, we have also in spirit of uh, reciprocating uh, promised the uh, students the internship details uh, according to the department. So let's go and set that view up. Again, we need to set up the data source. So that is internship, wait for it. Uh, and take note in this case, we only want to show the internship which are applicable to student according to the departments. So here we select this. And since if you remember, we have already built the ERD, the app pulls the relationship automatically here. So we just go ahead and save this source. And this source is going to feed our data view. So let's build the data view. And this data view is internship uh, view for applicants. So applicant view, uh, what would we like to show them? We will definitely like to show them the title. Uh, with the title, we are looking at uh, other information like uh, location, start date, end date, stipend, who is the approver. Again, I can use the feature of the app to shorten the name here as necessary. Um, and also I want to make sure, again, the student sees applications, um, the internship applications that are available for his or her specific ID. So student ID is equal to my ID, done. Uh, uh, go ahead and ensure uh, that the permissions are in place. So the student is able to look at this information, um, preview the JDs for the internship, download a copy, send a link to a friend if they like. This is complete and saved uh, at permission so the view becomes available in the web page and save the whole thing the only thing left is to add this internship view uh, to a web part which can be done very very quickly using this interface in this app uh, let's keep it in the header let's put it in zone 2 title only add With this, we are ready to look at the experience uh, that the student is going to get from the solution page um, on this particular solution. There you go. These are the two views. At the moment, they will look blank as the student hasn't um, uploaded his or her resume. So let's go ahead and put a resume. Um, we browse, load the information uh, from the location student has it. Uh, the title and student ID is locked as we are done. Student belongs to law department and we do a save. Now, as the save is taking place, the views are being built and the engagement uh, should move forward. Uh, here you go. You see students' um, resume. Student can look at the resume. Uh, he or she can download and uh, send them links. If she likes, uh, they can actually go and edit this uh, for their purpose. And again, as I mentioned before, uh, the promise of internships. And uh, now the system shows the student the internship that he or she is entitled to apply. Uh, again, they, they can look at the details of the internships information that will help them to decide whether they should apply for this or that uh, particular um, internship. They can download this description, email the link and so on. The only thing probably that is missing right now, and uh, I hope by the time the engagement is really complete and student is hooked, is ability to apply. So let's see how very quickly the system will allow you to build the ability to apply. To quickly build that, we go to the transaction part of the web parts, and uh, this is related to the internship uh, document uh, library. Uh, once that comes up, there are various ways to build. Visual is an interesting ability. This uh, uh, app provides where you can put different stages. So for example, the first stage will be apply. Uh, we then want the uh, internships to go into an approve stage. Approve stage. 
and then finally a stage which is complete this app provides a capability of going into the fill view so that if you have really complex flows that can be arranged and the next thing to do is to add the links between them so um, when uh, apply moves to approve then some action will take place that will move it to complete and let's put the conditions so when the status of the applic uh, the internship is equal to um, uh, applied, it will move to the approved stage. And in approved stage, when the status of the application for internship switches to approved, it will move to the approved stage or complete stage. Also, there is a possibility that the internship is uh, denied. Um, so uh, then the application will move back to become available again for other people to apply to. So let's put that condition as well. So if the status is changed back to is equal to available, it move back. Once this is done, then we start creating the various actions that are linked to this particular flow. So the first action really which we're going to do here is apply. So we click on the roles, get the form, and we're going to edit a form. This will be uh, called apply. Uh, we will set the fields here, which we want to show. Um, uh, we would like the uh, name to be hidden. We don't want to show the name here. Title we want to show, but it is locked. A description is locked. Location is locked. Almost all fields are locked here. except uh, probably the remark field. Yeah, so the remark field can be changed, date approved. Additionally, some of the fields are predefined. So for example, the status field is uh, forced to change to applied uh, once this is uh, uh, done. And also we want to force the student ID to be equal to the ID of the student who has locked in. Again, ensuring doesn't apply for others. Uh, then we go on to put in the actions that we need to kick off. So one of them is uh, email notification. Uh, we want to send, we can put multiple actions here. So email, um, go ahead to click on this. Uh, in this group also, you can combine multiple actions. Uh, here uh, is an important point where the API integration of Office 365 shows up. Uh, so as you see, I am going to use uh, send email, but you can use uh, the other ones as well, including uh, um, a request for calendar invite. So send email in this case. We can send e we email to the approver. And again, the app provides an easy way to pick the information uh, by just uh, clicking. Uh, we can also do a CC to the student uh, himself to just keep him informed. Uh, this is a subject. Uh, here we can become more informative. Uh, we can say, okay, uh, uh, such and such a student has applied the uh, current title, uh, has applied for uh, this specific internship. Again, picking the information in terms of title. Um, in the message body, um, you can be uh, as explanative as you like, or you can also put um, a link so that the approver straight away clicks and goes into the solution pages, a very convenient way of uh, doing things. So once this, this is done, the action is defined and complete. You can just save and um, the uh, trigger or the action portion is completed, except, okay. Uh, make a save. Only thing that is left is to just ensure that this trigger is wired up. It's connected to the web view in internship. So just go to the internship. We already have uh, views, uh, data views built for the uh, applicants. So we go into that. Uh, we go down and uh, add it as one of the actions. So right now there were no actions inside. Uh, we go into menu, we add an action. This action is called apply. And um, 
uh, it is per item basis. Uh, we want icon. It, it looks much nicer. And again, we uh, use the default provided here. Um, uh, we uh, connect it to the trigger. That's the uh, most important part, so that uh, you know the the action gets triggered. So again, this is in internship, and it is edit. And uh, you can see the opportunity to again leverage uh, picking information uh, from the interface. Uh, the, this is done, um, and just enter apply. Um, save this. Uh, we want to also make sure that uh, this um, uh, menu or uh, action only appears when an internship is in a, a, a available status. So uh, we go ahead and um, add another condition. Uh, with the AND operator. And this is for status uh, when it is equal to uh, available. Make sure. Uh, that apply is available, save. Do a final save so that changes are complete. And now we are ready to see the student experience. Uh, you see, once this is updated, uh, you see an icon on left of every uh, internship Let's look at the complete experience of the applicant on the left and the approver on the right. So the uh, applicant picks up the icon to apply uh, the corporate uh, internship and says, uh, please approve. So uh, as the request gets saved, you'll notice that this application uh, internship line item will disappear from the left screen and it will appear as we refresh the approver screen uh, with two icons towards this left. Uh, there you go. And uh, it uh, really stands for approve and reject. Now on the approval screen, you would notice uh, on the top portion is of course the resume is with the ability to approve uh, and reject. So this is uh, the approve interface. Uh, it looks a bit different. There are various um, uh, interfaces available in there. And at the bottom are the list of all the scholarship uh, internships uh, with the um, statuses. So the red stands really for open and available. Uh, yellow is for applied. And uh, interestingly, you can see uh, the workflow also. So if you look at the applied workflow and uh, the SharePoint system shows that uh, actually it has moved from apply to approve and it is awaiting approval. Uh, the green one actually de denotes uh, uh, already closed scholarship. So international law, for example, is closed. And if you look at workflow for this one, um, you would um, see that it is moved from uh, apply to approve and then to complete. The data grid will actually show the entire trail uh, for this particular internship of how it moves through different stages. So um, this is uh, uh, an example and demonstration to show how uh, taking very simple uh, steps and uh, with data, uh, it can uh, SharePoint and the partner app uh, called WebPars 360 can help you to bring very, very powerful solutions which can be used uh, in an education environment. Thank you for your attention and time.